Where are you now? Where would you like to be? Let Center Holidays help you get there. Whether you want to travel by bicycle, boat, bus, car, plane, ship, train, or walkabout, Center Holidays is a nationwide full-service travel service. Most people are familiar with the famous seawall that circumnavigates the world-renowned Stanley Park. As the city of Vancouver has grown, so has the seawall. Unofficially, to many, the seawall starts or ends at Main Street, miles to the east of Stanley Park. In the late 1900s, an overpass replaced the level crossing of the CPR tracks between Maine and the Inner Harbour. Later, the building to the east of the bridge was purchased, destroyed and replaced by a zigzag ramp as the walkway at the edge of the bridge was too steep for wheelchairs. This then, for many, is the start of the Vancouver seawall. Near the apex of the bridge are two stone lions. Between the two statues, on the horizon, are two knobs. Originally, the mountainous knobs were known as Maria's Paps. They were renamed the Twin Lions, thusly anchoring Vancouver to its Chinese heritage and forming the base for names throughout the area such as Lionsgate Hospital, Lionsgate Bridge, BC Lions, to name a few. Below the bridge, we see a commercial parking area and a commercial wharf for fishing boats and a cannery. This area is known as the Main Street Dock. On the northwest side of the dock, we have a visiting naval vessel from the United States of Mexico. Wharfs extending from the dock are home to the Timac Launch Service. A gravel path extends from the park to the parking lot and was the end of the seawall until they built the railway overpass. Portside Park is more commonly known as Crab Park, Crab being an acronym for Create a Real Available Beach. The view from Crab Park Beach shows us the waters of the Burrard Inlet, also known as the Inner Harbour, the maritime industrial section of the city of North Vancouver, the hillside residential area called British Properties in the city of West Vancouver, and towering in the background, the Twin Lions. To the east, the container services of Centurn, Centennial Terminals. This picture, taken in the spring of 2004, shows some kind of wooden statue bear trees and an observation wharf at the point of the groin. A picture taken from the same spot in 2014 shows the top of the statue rotted away and the trees in leaf and much bigger. From the end of the observation wharf we have an unobstructed view of the inner harbour and the north shore. Backtracking the pathway takes us back into the park or into the parking area, which strangely is not for the park, and out to the street to continue our journey. A slight detour up the top of the hill, up to the top of the hill, in the corner of the park, gives us an overall view of the park, the beach, and the play area. I took this night shot from the same location 10 years ago, before all the new high rises went up. This picture of the sun tower on the left and the Woodward building on the right was used on the cover of a book entitled Welfare Wednesday by Chris Walter. Looking west from the top of the hill, the near parking lot is used for buses and trucks that service the cruise ships. The second parking lot is often used by the film industry to park their circuses when filming on locations in the Gastown area. The tallest building in the background is Granville Square and to the right is Canada Place, the cruise ship terminal. Back down at sea level, the sidewalk is the seawall at this point. On this date, the Princess Line's Crown Princess was in dock. The Harbour Tower, with its top of Vancouver revolving restaurant, towers over the original CPR station. To the right, Granville Square, the home of the Vancouver Sun and the province newspapers. The heliport offers helicopter service such as flights to Victoria or heli tours to Grouse Mountain. Here we see a floating helicopter pad. A sea bus docks in Vancouver after crossing the Inner Harbour from North Vancouver. The overhead passenger corridor connects the sea bus terminal to the CPR station, the Home Depot for West Coast Express, a daily commuter train serving towns in the Fraser Valley, and the SkyTrain, a rapid transport system that serves the metropolis of Vancouver. 
10 years ago on the east side of Canada Place, the celebrity cruise ship Infinity. Today, the Princess Lines crown Princess. Canada Place can dock two cruise ships on each side. Just east of Canada Place are the docks of Port Metro Vancouver. 10 years ago, the RCMP Lindsay. Today, Fireboat 5 and the Western Canada Marine Response Corporation vessel MJ Green. The seawall disappears into the loading areas beneath Canada Place. This is where the supply trucks go to service the cruise ships. It is also the truck entrance into the Vancouver Convention Center. On the west side of Canada Place, 10 years ago, the Holland America Lines Rindam. Today, the Holland America Lines Zuiderdam. I have a couple more photos of this section of the seawall, but they are obsolete as over the past few years, the entire shoreline west of Canada Place has been totally rebuilt.